Hello, you are welcome. We have this interesting exponential problem. We have k squared minus k power 3 equals 150. If you can solve this problem, that means you must be a genius. Go ahead and solve it and at the end we are going to compare our answers. Now look at it here. Let's do it together. We have k squared minus k power 3 equals, we can split this 150 and have the summation of 1 to 5 plus 25. So we take this and bring it down here. We will have k squared minus k power 3 minus 1 to 5 minus 25 and this equals 0. Now we can have this written in this form. We have k squared minus k power 3 minus 1 to 5 is 5 power 3 minus 25 is 5 power 2 and this equals 0. Let's rearrange it together. This is k power 2. We can bring this one again. So we have k power 2 minus 5 power 2. Then we have minus k power 3 minus 5 power 3 and this equals 0. So we can have it this way. k power 2 minus 5 power 2. We take this minus outside. We are just factoring out the negative sign. We have k power 3 plus 5 power 3 and this equals 0. Now this is in the form of a squared minus b squared which equals a plus b times a minus b and this is in the form of a power 3 plus b power 3 which equals we have a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared and remember our a equals k and b equals 5 in the both cases so let's apply this identity we are going to start with the first one a plus b times a minus b we will have k plus 5 times k minus 5 and there's minus here we have the minus here let's apply this identity the second one here we have k plus 5 times k squared minus 5k that's 5 times k plus 5 squared and everything equals 0 so right now what are we going to do we have k plus 5 and we have k plus 5 we can factor that out make use of this divide this by this we are going to have k minus 5 have you seen that then what we're going to have left is we are going to have minus let me put this in bracket we will have the whole of this left k squared minus 5k plus 25 and everything equals 0 now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to have k plus 5 times k minus 5 then this will be k squared or let me just multiply everything out from the bracket using the negative sign to multiply everything out we are going to have minus k squared plus 5k minus 25 and this equals 0. So we are going to have k plus 5 times this will be let's just write this out of this bracket k minus 5 minus k squared plus 5k minus 25 this equals 0. So k plus 5k we are going to have 6k negative 5 minus 25 we have minus 30 minus k squared this is what we have inside this bracket we have k plus 5 and everything equals 0 so from here we can have k plus 5 equals 0 or we have this let's rearrange it we have minus k squared plus 6k minus 30 and this equals 0 so let's solve this individually. To solve the first one, we have k plus 5 equals 0. 
that means k equals negative 5. This is a real solution. Now let's solve this quadratic equation. Now in order to solve this quadratic equation, what we are going to do is we can decide to multiply both sides of these, everything here using negative 1. So this is times negative 1. So we are going to have k squared minus 6k plus 30 equals 0 times negative 1 is 0. Why are we multiplying it by negative 1? Because we want the coefficient of k squared here to be positive. So we don't want it to be negative. We want the coefficient of k squared to be positive just like this. Now we can solve this quadratic equation making use of the formula method. Now we have k equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a and from here we have a equals 1 b equals negative 6 c equals 30 so we have k equals negative b negative times negative 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 30 divided by 2 times 1. So we have k equals negative times negative 6. We are going to have 6 plus or minus square root of negative, this is 36, minus 4 times 30, that is 120, divided by 2. So from here we are going to have k equals 6 plus or minus 36 minus 126, 120, sorry, we are going to have negative 84 divided by 2. From here we have k equals 6 plus or minus square root of 84 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2. And we are going to have k equals 6 plus or minus. This is 84, we can have it written as 4 times 21. 4 times 21 times square root of negative 1 is i and everything divided by 2. So we are going to have k equals 6 plus or minus square root of 4 times square root of 21 times i divided by 2 and we have k equals 6 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 times we can have root of 21 times i divided by 2 so we have k equals this will give us 3 plus or minus root of 21 times i so we can have it written as k equals 3 plus or minus i times root of 21 we leave it this way. Now the solutions are we have k equals the first one was negative 5 and the second one is 3 plus i times root of 21 and the third one is 3 minus i times root of 21. So these are the solutions. We have one real solution and two complex solutions. So you can easily test for the real solution. Remember this is it, k equals negative 5. You can easily test for it. If you insert negative 5 here, you are going to have something like this. Negative 5 power 2 minus this is negative 5 power 3 and this equals 150 right so negative 5 power 2 this is 25 minus negative 5 power 3 this is negative 1 to 5 equals 150 this is 25 plus 1 to 5 because negative times negative positive equals 150 yes 25 plus 125 will give you 150 equals 150 so that is correct and that is it in this particular video i believe you enjoyed the class please kindly subscribe 
and share this video. Thank you and goodbye.